Uganda has eliminated river blindness in two districts of Kabare and Chenjojo in the Ituara focus. The Ituara focus had the highest number of people that were affected by river blindness, close to 110,000 people in 120 villages both in Kabare and Chenjojo district. And to date, all the villages are free of the disease. The country representative Kata Center Uganda, Edrina Muheki, says that since the disease is eliminated, the community should be vigilant and report any suspected case. It's not only to celebrate that achievement. We are here to remind the communities, to remind the political and the technical leaders that although we eliminated the transmission of the disease, it is still possible for that disease to come back. So we want to sensitize and increase the awareness about the need to continue looking out for any possible recrudescence of this disease. Uh, this disease had really devastated the area and the people were scared. But as we speak now, uh, it, it is story. And uh, we are appreciative to Qatar Center and to the Ministry of Health and also to our gov the government of Uganda. Some of the health experts on vector control shed light on some of the signs and symptoms and how the disease is spread. And also because of the itching, people feel so uncomfortable that scratching with hands is not sufficient. Some of them reach out for stones or broken pots or maize cubes and they really scratch the skin. And by doing that, the skin loses color and it becomes like a leopard skin. So that is one of the signs of uh, river blindness, having leopard skin or having lizard skin. So we call it river blindness. So when, because when these adult worms produces the worms, I mean the microfilaria, the young, the young worms, they move everywhere. They move everywhere, the whole part of the body even going to the brain. So unfortunately, some of them find themselves in the eye. Now in the eye, we have the, the entrance which attracts light to go to the retina, to be interpreted that I'm seeing Joachim, I'm seeing so and so. So now, this microfilaria, when they are dying, they die in the lens. Meaning they cut off the light, which is supposed to be coming from you, so I identify you. So eventually this person now becomes bright. That's why we call it the river blindness, because it is blindness associated with the river. During the river blindness elimination celebrations, the district representatives expressed concern on the increasing number of HIV AIDS infection that is ravaging the region. Now that we have solved the challenge of river blindness, what remains and it's a major challenge is HIV AIDS. Uh, as a region, we are now leading in the whole country. My district, Chenjojo, is number third with 7% infection. Uh, Kavarole district is number second. And the Fort Potro city, which are our neighbors and our people, commute every day and, and uh, they work and they sleep here. It is at 14.5%. This is so bad, we call upon the government to make a special intervention in this area uh, to see really that this scourge is contained. It's HIV. HIV is still a problem. Uh, Kavarole and the city, our prevalence is about 16% compared to the national average. So HIV, and mainly where we are in Kabende, it's a, it's, I'll call it a food basket in the sorts where we have a lot of produce and where you find a lot of produce this follows, you have a lot of activity following. Money follows wine and women. So you end up with uh, dining and whining. Usually sex is one of the, the outcomes. And HIV is still a problem. Kata Center Uganda focuses mainly on river blindness elimination, stating that only two foci are remaining in the districts bordering South Sudan, that is in northern Uganda, and Kasese bordering DRC Zahara Abigaba, UBC News. Thank <laughs> you.